Hello everybody, hope you're doing well and thanks for joining us for another video. This is going to be a short one this week, but it's tackling a very common thing that I hear from a lot of flat earthers, where they ask, if the Earth's really a globe, why does the UN logo use a flat Earth map? Well, the why is pretty straightforward. The United Nations currently has 193 member states. When it was founded in 1945, there were 50 members originally, and then Poland signed up later in that same year. Those 51 members were located all around the world. Now, the aim of a logo is to represent an organization, and to be effective, it should be simple and yet easily recognizable. So, as an organization that includes pretty much every country in the world, then including a map of the world in the logo makes a lot of sense. However, logos can only be displayed in two dimensions. So, having a singular globe in the logo rather than an AE map would mean choosing a particular part of the world to center on and having many member countries not represented in the logo, which could be seen as bias. Interestingly, this wasn't the original logo, though. The logo for the original conference used a similar map, but it was rotated to have America at the center line, and it stopped at 40 degrees south latitude, so the tips of South America and South Africa were missing. The logo design was then revised in 1946 to what we see today. Now, a rectangular projection like a Mercator or equirectangular map could have worked. However, logo symbols seem to generally be most effective when they are either square or circular. Plus, the aim of the UN is to ultimately resolve conflicts with the ultimate goal of peace, hence the use of olive branches in the logo. But the branches going around a square or rectangular map doesn't really look as good as round a circle. So the why for the UN logo is pretty simple. It is an international organization representing countries from all around the world equally. And the AE map is a simple and effective way to do that. I mean, the United Nations also created the World Health Organization, and they use a very similar design logo as well. Although many of the people who argue in favor of that logo design being evidence for Flat Earth also think that everything the WHO say is a complete lie, apart from their logo. But to counter this argument of, well, the UN logo is a flat Earth, so therefore Earth must be flat, there are lots of other international organizations that use globes in their logo. For example, the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, which was founded in France in 1961, they have 38 member countries around the world, and they use clearly a globe for their logo. UNICEF was established by the United Nations in 1946, and although their original logo bore resemblance to the UN, it soon changed to drop the countries of the world in place of a picture of a child, though it kept the same flat circular grid system from the AE map. But in recent years, that has changed again to now use the grid system from a globe. The IMF, or International Monetary Fund, founded by the UN in 1945, uses a logo of two hemispheres from a globe next to each other. The United Nations itself actually consists of six branches, or organs as they call them. They have the General Assembly, the Security Council, the Economic and Social Council, the Trustee Council, the International Court of Justice, and the UN Secretariat. Of those six branches, five of them are located in the UN's headquarters in New York, and all of those subsequently use the same logo. However, the International Court of Justice is located at The Hague in the Netherlands. They don't use the same logo as the UN. Rather, they use this logo, which depicts Lady Justice holding a set of scales, and below her is two hemispheres of a globe. And whilst the other organizations we've covered were mostly founded by the UN, the International Court of Justice actually existed prior to becoming part of the UN in 1946. The International Court of Justice used to be the Permanent Court of International Justice, also sometimes referred to as the World Court, which was originally founded in 1922 as part of the League of Nations. And even back then, they used that same logo. 
So this logo depicting a globe predates the UN logo that uses a flat earth map. So if we're going with the logic that the logos of international organizations is evidence for the shape of the earth, then I guess the globe wins. So that's going to be it for this video. As always, feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments down below. If you've enjoyed this video and you haven't already done so, then please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons, and hopefully we'll see you in the next video.